<laughs> Cincinnati Cooks is a full service catering company and also a job training program and all of the profits funnel directly back into the operations and the programs of the free store food bank and that includes the free stores Thanksgiving food distribution which begins on Monday. Tony Lavatore, the Cincinnati Cooks director of workforce development and chef Marcus join us now along with the crew who does a lot of the cooking from Cincinnati Cooks. You, you know, we, we always talk about the Thanksgiving food drive this time of year and people might lose sight of the kinds of things that Cincinnati Cooks can do and that that's happening with the free store. So, so break it down for people. What is Cincinnati Cooks? Well, Cincinnati Cooks is a workforce development program. Uh, we offer two culinary training programs. Marcus runs the second course and we have our first course. We also have another workforce development called Cincinnati Lifts, which is a warehouse and logistics based program too, which is very new yeah. on about two years old. But this is, uh, this is what we're here about today. It's a 10 week program. Nice. Runs eight to three Monday through Friday. 80% of them are getting jobs uh, the week they get out of the program. That's awesome. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Cooking is always fun. Food's always a good thing to share. I would say so. Chef Marks, what, what do you love about this program and working with these folks? Um, actually, I went through the program. And Did you so really? That, yeah, That's I was awesome. one of the first students in the program, so I've always been around it. It's all about the community, and we're just putting out a lot of good cooks. You know, how, so. how important was that program in your life, and now that you're on the other side of it? Uh, tremendously important because it showed me the power of giving back and always giving back. Okay. So we do a lot of things within the community and we make sure that the community is covered yeah. as far as the students. So. All right. Now let's let's talk about the students and the kind of stuff that they make because we got a whole lot of carbohydrates going on. Carbs are good. Carbs are good. Those are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> so what, are, what are we making up here? So we're making a three cheese macaroni and cheese. Oh, um, yes, you are. We have a little bit of gouda, some smoked gouda, some smoked cheddar, and also a little bit of mozzarella. So we garnished it with some fresh mozzarella yeah. and a little bit of the gouda and kind of like a butter. So this is what it looks like after everything's finished on the yep. other side. Okay. Yep. But then it's at that stage to where you have to take it and put it into put it the out. stove. Got it. It'll brown it off really nicely and make it look So you're good. cooking up the macaroni obviously first. You're putting all yep. the cheese on going into the oven with that kind of yep. thing. Okay. And we do it this way here at the school because we show them different sauces and things that they need to know going into the industry. So. Gotcha, gotcha. And so if you're gonna, I'm gonna let you start mixing everything yeah. up a little bit. Tony, why don't you talk a little bit about how people can get involved with the program if they wanted to come out if they were interested in something. Well, it's, it's a great program. It runs year round it's, and a new class starts every five weeks. Um, you need to call Sarah Maria at 482. Okay. Uh, 4,500 and nice. they'll take care of you. Uh, there's an application process that they can do online through the freestarfoodbank.org okay. uh, that they can register online for any of our uh, workforce development programs. It's also a good page to go to uh, to help support the Freestar Food Bank. Excellent. Are, are there any kind of qualifications going in a, as you sign up to take part in one of these classes? You, you know, you have to be able to no, pick up a 20 pound bag, yeah. hold a knife, uh, got to be tall enough to, to reach the counter and the stove. Sure. But that's pretty sure. much about it. That's awesome. Uh, we've had 2,600 students over the 20 year period uh, in, in the two programs. We've got we've had 60 go through the that's lift it. program. Cool. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. Graduation is every fifth Friday. And a matter of fact, this week it's it's Wednesday of next week because there is no uh, working on Friday. Hey, so. well, and jobs coming out of the other side of it. And that's that's just fantastic. Well, when I first started seven years ago, we were calling the restaurants. They're all calling us now. That's yes. great. Yes. That's great. Well, th well, thanks for you do. And, and that's just one more thing that the Free Store Food Bank does. We, we talk about the Thanksgiving food distribution. Jeez. Now, you know that's coming up uh, Monday, Tuesday, next week, getting people ready for Thanksgiving, but things like Cincinnati Cooks, that happens thanks to the Free Store Food Bank as well. So I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to watch you guys cook a little bit, is that okay? Yeah. Alright, you guys keep doing your thing, I'm going to let Paul Poteet do some weather, I'm going to look at some carbohydrates. As okay. you can tell, they can dance, but they can cook too. They so. can cook. <laughs> <laughs> they can do it all, Paul.